All right, day one, Lake Fort starts here in about 20 minutes. We blast off at 6.45. I could not get very many bites this week, so I'm gonna start on bed fish and end on bed fish. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. It's just one of the most stressful ways to fish a tournament, but that's what we're gonna have to do here. Hopefully, we can start on, start on one, get a bite early, get a couple bites early, and be able to really like manage our time the way we want through the rest of the day and target a couple really big ones. So if we can just get a fast start, it makes this bed fishing tournament a, a whole lot easier. So hopefully the first cup we pull up on bite and we can cruise around looking for some really big ones. Can you guys idle by this release boat? 32, Kyle Welcher. One ten. All right. One ten. Two pounds, seven ounces. Two seven. God, dog. You're making her mad, but not quite mad enough. See it in the mouth? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Four pounds, nine ounces. He's a five three now. He must have ate a bluegill. Okay, zeroed. Okay, three pounds, 13 ounces. Let's try it again. That's a pretty fish. Oh my goodness. Mm. Had to work for that sucker. They're getting darker, it seems like. 2.11. Right. You got to sign this when you forgot the last time. Oh, they signed them. Look, look, please. Sign both of them. Oh, my goodness, dude. Okay, 
Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it'd be like a 314. Four six, heck yes, sir. Six. Good, good shot there, babe. Four six. That gave us another two pounds. Now we got 20 something. I mean, we it was kind of better than I thought it was going to be as far as the number of fish we caught. We just never ran into a female, so we caught 21 four, all males, and we probably caught seven or eight, and that's you know that's all we can do. No, for sure. I guess I'll get to the four nine first. For you, they're going to check in at 21 pounds and 4 ounces, so a good start to your day here at uh, the Guaranteed Rate Elite. Yep, you know, that this tournament's kind of setting up where there's a lot of different things going, and it just happened to be that like 90% of the bass in this lake are spawning right now, and I absolutely love bed fishing, so I went out today and committed to it, had a good time. You know, th this lake has so many big ones in it that I never even caught a big one today and had 21-4, so I mean, I I'm really excited to be able to go back out there tomorrow and hopefully stream together a couple of big ones and, you know, move up a little bit in the leaderboard, but this lake is phenomenal. There's so many big ones, and we're having a good time out there. Good luck. We'll see if uh, that sight fishing deal holds up for you through the tournament. All right, ended up today with 21 pounds, 4 ounces. Not one of those spectacular days on Lake Fort, but it's okay. It's got us in the hunt. We're well inside the cut range right now. We just got to catch like 15 pounds tomorrow, and we'll squeeze into day three, but I want to do a lot better than that. I would like to connect one of these giant Lake Fork females. Have not really fished for them in practice, and then today the biggest fish I caught was a 415, so got to do a little bit better than that tomorrow and catch us one of these daggum big ones. So I got a ton of males on bed. Just got to pull up to the right one, and there'll be a big female there at the right time and catch that sucker. So hopefully tomorrow we'll put it together, catch one of them big Patrick Walters style Lake Fork bags. 21 pounds, four ounces. That's what I ended with day one of Lake Fork. Pretty good for never getting a big bite. You know, that's about as far as you can go on Lake Fork without catching one of those big females. You know, it is possible to catch a 23, 24 pound bag of all males, but you're really gonna have to find some super, super good ones. So I'll take y'all through the two rods that I used and why I used the exact rods I used and whenever I pick up one over the other. So that entire tournament, I pretty much committed to bed fishing, especially for day one. I had found a bunch of pretty good sized males in practice, and lo and behold, almost all of them were there on day one. So I ran around, started on a 4.9, caught that thing, went to some other ones, caught a nice 2.11, caught another 2.11, lost one that was about a four pound male, maybe a little bit bigger, and then ended up finding a 4.15 male, catching that, and catching a three and a half. So ended up the day with 21.4, but I'm gonna show y'all why and where I picked up which rods I did. So basically, all I was going to do in this entire tournament was bed fish, and I used a white crawl the majority of the time. And then whenever I got into some heavier cover, I would use, or, or if I was fishing for super big fish, I would go to a bigger profile bait like the Missile Destroyer or the D-Bomb or any other big, huge creature bait that I thought would make those fish kind of react to it. But I used two rods, and the reason I picked up one over the other is this is my standard one that I was using. This is a seven foot three heavy point blank rod that I custom built myself. This is a eight to one Shimano Cronarch MGL, 22 pound Sunline shooter. We're fishing for big fish here. So I wanted to upsize my line. I went ahead and put 22 on this rod. When I normally put like 20 on this rod when I'm flipping around a worm or flipping around my little ace jig or whatever, I usually put 20, went ahead and put 22 on it. And I upsized my hook also I went to a big 4 alt Gamakatsu. This is the tournament grade wire G Finesse, big straight shank hook. That's the hook that I wanted to use whenever I was hooking them fish. I wanted to make sure I had a big huge gap because the fish were not really eating the bait very good. So I wanted to make sure that whenever they put it in their mouth, I was gonna have a big hook to hook them, reel them fast, and swing them in the boat. That was another approach that I did that some guys didn't do, is I wanted to make sure I had the equipment to where if I had a five or six pounder on, I could still swing that fish in the boat. So if I was fishing for a bigger than average fish, or if I was going over a reed clump, or over a tree, or whatever, I would put this rod down. This was my kind of open water, pitching around in open water, fishing for you know two and a half to five pounders, I would use this rod. If I was going to fish for like a five, plus a six pounder if I was flipping over some reeds, over over um, 
wood, whatever. If I had to go over anything, I would pick up this rod. This is a seven foot six heavy fast. This is my favorite flipping rod there's ever been. This is a point blank custom built seven six. This is a Shimano Metanium 8.2 to one, but I had 25 pound Sunline shooter. Had a little bit heavier weight on here. Had a three eighths ounce on this one. And the reason for that was if I needed to penetrate through some cover, I need that little heavier weight. I actually had this one pegged and the other one not pegged, but the same exact big four alt tournament grade wire Gamakatsu hook on this one. Just if I needed to power the fish out of something, I'd pick up this rod. A little bit more length, a little more power, and a lot bigger line to make sure I land those fish and I could reel them and swing them in the boat. Another thing I haven't kept you up to date on because we've been kind of out of making videos for a week or so is I have discount codes for a couple more companies now if y'all want to purchase through those companies. Missile baits, you know, where I flip a ton of D-bomb stuff like that. Kyle 10 will get you 10% off of missile baits if you go to their website. Another thing, Black Rifle. If y'all like drinking coffee, I'm on the go a lot, so I've been drinking these kind of espresso cans a ton. And Welcher 15 will get you 15% off your first order on Black Rifle. Another thing, a lot of people was commenting on this hat right here. I think this is the hat. This hat I was wearing in the last video. I'll leave a link down below to the Spro website where you can get this hat if you want it. And that's it. A little bit of housekeeping for y'all. I appreciate y'all checking out this video. Just want to tell y'all why I pick up one rod over the other, but we committed to bed fishing for this one. So we only needed one bait really because the way I bed fish is like a, a very fast and furious approach. And that's the way I went about it. So we'll see y'all in the day two video. Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all.